The Moriata Partnership is a group of schools and preschools located in the eastern suburbs of Adelaide. Together we've had a very strong focus on STEM learning for the past three years, looking at a continuity of learning from birth all the way through to Year 12 in STEM. We needed to find something that connected us all together. What was that gel that was going to unite us as a group of leaders? And we believed that STEM was that glue that was going to unite our work into the future. STEM has emerged as an important priority, I think, society-wide. But it's true to say that the Moriata Partnership seized upon this really early. I hope that projects like this continue to encourage the schools to innovate because if you can collaborate well it overcomes your content knowledge of particular areas. I don't think there is an end point, I think there will always be emerging technologies and I hope programs like this continue to encourage people to look at learning in innovative ways. If I try and teach the students in part using the traditional ways, they wouldn't be engaged because teaching gets monotonous and boring without innovation because we have changed a lot in the last decade and we want to keep up with the students. The questions that the students are coming up with is really what's driving the inquiry and it's the basis for their learning. I think we need to take the very best aspects of this project and pour them into more opportunities to do the same thing. We could do the same in the arts, we could be building bigger bridges between high school and primary school education. Being out of the comfort zone has definitely made us think about how we go about our practice and also given us some time to self-reflect, but I think by doing that we're always improving our pedagogy, which is improving their learning experience for the kids. The project has created opportunities for our teachers to be risk takers. Their learning has been significant. When people start to feel they can manage a new innovation, they then start to own that innovation. I think that is of the greatest essence in order for a successful incorporation of STEM in schools.